podcast like this. Who gon' bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gon' do it how you want it. Boss talk. Yeah, everybody on it. Boss talk. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad walk on. Man, hey man, we got a guy here today, y'all. He don't need no introduction, man. The guy frequents the show now, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> this nigga right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he just, uh, hey, hey, he here, man. Got a music back in the building, what man. Do, what it do? What it do? Say, man, let's get let, let's, let's get it going, man. Hey man, good to have you back, man. Hey, man. Same way, you man, know we family. But I've been hearing a lot of stuff about you, you been man. Working. You work it, man. He boy come through, say the man, hey, man. man. That boy go in there, he do something different, man. So how do you feel, man, like 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 with the with the way people are responding to you right now, man? Because a lot of times, you know, it's up in there on, on the Dallas market of who running what, who doing what. I'm running this high. shit. <laughs> you gonna go, that's how I'm going. I'm just real. I'm running this shit. <laughs> I ain't even been cocky. I'm just being real. I'm running this shit. I've been letting niggas breathe, though. I've been letting them have their little fun. You feel me? Yeah. But, you know, I'm gonna Wait. take over in a little minute. I'm just trying to. You said it in the interview though. You said that you you was gonna be dropping, people gonna be hating. You you ain't gonna stop. Yeah. You already said it. I don't know. See, um, I got to since I've been home, I just been recording, 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 mm-hmm. recording, recording. So I still ain't even went to jail bag yet. You feel me? So wow. everything is just new. Everything ain't new. I got so much music now, I just you know. I'm just trying to see what they gonna do. If they ain't doing nothing, I'm gonna drop all this shit. Back wow. to back. Man, so so when you came, because before you left you was performing and uh, uh, I mean, like, like, how is it performing now? You know, basically, when you go and you do your do your thing, how is it? I haven't got to perform yet. You I've haven't been, been nowhere um, performing. I thought you performed. I heard you perform. Nah, I didn't get to um, my PO due to my stipulation. I'm on federal papers, so so um, you can't perform. I can't go out of Texas, you know. So well, you can um, perform in Texas. Yeah, I'm, I mean, like Dallas period. Like I can't leave out of the Metroplex yet. So, so oh, and ain't nobody in Dallas booked you to perform? I don't want to perform in the city yet. I heard um, you perform, man. Oh, we're going to perform. Yeah, I, I showed up into a couple spots. I, I just got on the flights, but I didn't get on stage yet. Oh, oh that's horrible. And that was, just my, that was just my personal choice. I was just watching people perform, and I was just like, nah, I don't want to do it yet. You feel me? Yeah. And it's, it no, it's right nothing. Time. it ain't nothing to nobody, because I got some live promoters that I fuck with, and they fuck with me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But just not, not yet. But I finally, you know... I got one that I'm, I want to do. It's out there in Lubbock. It's uh, on the 31st. I'm already there. 31st in Lubbock. Uh, Why you chose that one? What's so special over there? Uh, uh, it's just, it's just. I got a lot of love in West Texas. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So you know, I just chose like, hey, you know what? Shit, since they fuck with me, since they pop me off like they, West, people don't know like West Texas pretty much pop me off. Like mm-hmm. my music was crazy in West Texas. You know, then that's when Tyler and East Texas and nah, all that shit grab that shit, you know. But now I just said, hey, I'm going to the West. Let's go. So on the 31st, I'm going to be there. That's I, hard. I tell them I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm going to be there for sure. And I will be, be on stage. You know what the funny thing is? We did an interview the other day. I can't remember who was on here. And they were talking about you. And they were saying that when you were a little boy, you were in the studio. No Deezy. Right, you were in the studio. Used to be in the studio as a kid, watching and listening. Because we were also talking about how yellow he used to be. You know, young yeah. in there too. Young in there, yeah. and you. I, used to I be didn't in know that yellow. you used to be there that young. Yeah, I was around low days. I, uh, Mr. Lucha, Mr. Pokey, Gator Man, Cotton Mouth. Um, shit. As a little kid, because he Mention. said something about your dad. Your dad was in music or something like that. Too? Yeah, school you made. That's my pops. You feel me? He yeah, do, he do music. You feel me? He still recording. You know, he still got his shit going on. So you know. He lit, you know. He doing blues music now, though. So wow. Like, like, so that's where you got it from. Yeah. Hey, so he do like southern soul. Yeah. Hey, if him Dallas soul, that's what I call it. <laughs> you know, sad Dallas soul, the biz that. Yeah, know? yeah, wow. yeah. What yeah. does he think he about lit. your music? He love it. He love it. He very proud of me, you know. That's cause good. A lot of a lot of you know situations they couldn't do back then in the day. Like I'm getting them done. So that's like good. he he seeing me do it. He like yeah, I'm proud of you, feel me. So that's lit, because I used to watch them. Low D's and my pops, all of them. I used to look up to them, bow leg, all of them, you feel me? So, how yeah. good is that? How, how cool is it to be working, you know, rocking with Low D's and I after all these years? Yeah. It's actually crazy, because I used to watch Low do shows. I used to watch Low, like, like 
And I ain't gonna lie, like I used to always be like, damn, them niggas hard. You feel me? Like they always been hard. You feel me? Like like them niggas hard. PMG been hard. You feel me? That's what people don't know. Like yeah. they been hard. So like man, me and my brother Fly we used to be like, man, them niggas hard. So like now shit, it, it just meant to be. You feel me? It just meant. That's where you're meant. Yeah. That's that's so crazy how it goes around and come right back around and that's where God placed you right there. For real, that's I'm at home. And so, has, sure. sorry, go ahead. Has your dad ever recorded any of your songs for you? Yeah, yeah, he been in the studio with me a lot, a whole okay. lot of times. Yeah, okay. Sure. What about how 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 dope is it to work with Ziggy? Made it. <laughs> <laughs> Ziggy hard man. Ziggy different. Like, and then one thing you gotta know about Ziggy. Ziggy not a talkative person. No. no. You feel yeah. me? So you will take it like, man, this nigga ain't fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, nah, it's just him. You feel? Me? But when he getting that vibe. You can't stop him. He gonna go to bouncing. His head gonna go. To, he gonna go to jumping. Yeah, that be hard. Let me hear them headphones. He gonna play it out loud. Yeah, I bet you get in that booth. See, Both so you, you know him now. Sure. You know him because you've been working with him for a while. I saw on your Instagram where y'all took that picture with DLC. How uh, did that happen? Uh, DLC reached out to Low on Instagram and told him like Misa was hard. He'd be like, man, Misa hard, man. I want to meet him. Wow. You know, so shit. I thought they were playing. Like, man, DLC, DLC want to meet you. They got to come to the studio right now. And I'm like, damn, for real? Like, for real? Where That's you at? That's hard, bro. I shot up there. He was there. He was really there. Down to earth, man. A lot of knowledge. A lot of black knowledge. What did you of, learn? What's the? Give me one thing that stuck with you that you learned from him that night. How we see the, how, how, how us coming up in the rap game or those who trying to get in the rap game. Don't look at it the way those who old old black men who been in the game. We don't look at it the same. You feel what I'm saying? They they do it to empower and enlighten and wake up the younger black kids. Mm-hmm. You feel me? On what's going on behind closed doors. You feel exactly. What I'm saying? So these are conversations we had. You know, that's what they. That's what Dre and everybody else trying to do. Like damn, you know, like. The records and record labels and the contracts is really fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, black people supposed to be eating more and getting mm-hmm. way more money than, you know. And that's what they own. And we just trying to, some people just trying to get in the game, period. You feel what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. like, damn. Looking at this shit, was like, damn. So, I, I, I really want to change my aspect of the game now. You feel what I'm saying? It, it, it made me think of that. When you I think love of, that. When you think about DOC, the formula. You know, and then and and we already he linked with us too. He we all we, he's supposed to be coming on Boss Talk, so we we thank God for DOC. You know, liking and always supporting us, jumping mm-hmm. in the comments, Shout uh, out DLC. following the uh, you know he's coming in. Dallas he love it, man. I love it. So sure. when when you think about him though, I, I mean I, I remember listening to his music when I was young and. And this dude was dope. And then after that, people don't realize how much he wrote for NWA and all that. You know, yeah. this guy, um, uh, you know, he didn't he didn't just give up when when it, when the cards stacked against him with his voice. Yeah. He 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 actually came with a different position mm-hmm. and still made things work and and, and created his leg his legend as he should, right? And the way he done it, it was hard. You, no matter what, you can't take it from him. The talent was in him. Now, 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 the boy, the boy was. Hey, they portray him on every single straight out of Compton. You got do. You can't take DOC <laughs> out of that whole. You know what I'm saying? Scenario. So, <laughs> man, shout out to DOC. I still got that bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love see, this. Need to live some of that money, man. I, <laughs> watching this I love he's passing the knowledge on and trying to empower and teach because with the music industry the way how it is right now, with the young rappers the way how they are, they're not trying to empower like what you say, you know, sure. they're people. And I remember even like someone else we interviewed and he was talking about being in a dope game and stuff like that, having a lot of people under you and doing stuff you you're not turn around and trying to open black businesses and teach a community how to survive and do things for your community. Oh, sure. You really, by selling what you're selling, you're tearing down your community, And but you're not thinking about it that way when you're younger. Yeah. It's as you get older and you reform, you're like, man, I did that? Uh-uh. Man, if I only knew, I would have tried to do something a little bit different. And that's what I feel like, like, like the old head. So, you know, just like us who, over 25 should be showing like the 16, 17, mm-hmm. you know, the 15, 14 year olds. You feel me? That's what we're supposed to be showing them. Like, hey, it's a different way instead of 
the other way. You know, it's been like that for a long time, a long ass time. And everybody mm-hmm. say that shit and then don't know nothing. You know, it just happened. But at the same time, if you could just grab one, you mm-hmm. could grab one. You can grab your son. Or, you know, the next, the way they raise their kids is gonna be the same way you raise them. You feel me? Right. So it could trickle down. It just gotta happen. It just gotta start. For sure. That's how I feel. Wow. Mm-hmm. And I saw you also. I, you know, I'm going down your Instagram and checking <laughs> out what you've been doing and stuff like that. I see you with Hot Boy Wes. Yes, yeah, my guy. So, <laughs> can we expect some music coming out with you and Hot Boy Wes? I got a song called For the Money out right now with Hot Boy Wes. Oh, it's really? Yeah. yeah. I didn't hear that. Did you hear that, babe? Any visuals to it? Yeah, it's hot. Visual? Any visuals to it? Nah, not yet. Uh, we, we cooking it up at the moment. But bro be so busy. I be so busy. He be on one side. I be mm-hmm. on the other side. And it's like, shit, we can't never catch each other, but... What was it like working That's with cool. him? Shit, like two two hood niggas linking up to <laughs> just got out, just got an ISS or something at school. You feel me? Like something like that, you know? Yeah, you know he, I thought about I thought about parking uh, Snoop Dogg. You feel me? <laughs> That's exactly what it was. That's exactly what it was. He tripping, I'm tripping. He laughing, I'm laughing. We just I can't keep. imagine niggas coming through the door. We get serious. They walk out. We bust out laughing again. We one of them serious. Because y'all character. Oh my god, y'all yeah. are. He horrible. he horrible. I'm horrible too. So it was a perfect match. <laughs> yeah. For real. So you'll work with him again? Oh yeah, for sure. We got some more coming. Him, yeah. The whole whole team. He he locked in with the squad for sure. That's good. For sure. Wow. Yeah. So <clears throat> what about uh, what about Trap Boy? Trap Boy Freddie. You and him going y'all y'all ever gonna do something together? Hey, I got a lot of songs of Trap. I just never released them. When I first came home, Trap was the first person who gave me a feature. I never said nothing, never, you know, never spoke on it or nothing. Feel me? That's why I fuck with bro so much. Everybody be like, damn, why you fuck with Trap so much? Yeah, I got to understand. When I was in prison, Trap was the only person that reached out. You feel me? Like, far as in, on some music shit, trying to fuck with me. Like, like turn me up when I come home. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? And at that time, shit, it was a lot of bullshit going on in the game. You feel me? So, you know... Yeah, hey, bro reached out. I came home. He came to see me. Yeah, and we did the song. Shit, we did multiple songs. You feel me? I just never put them out. You know, shit. I don't look at them as a song. I, that's a friendship. That's my mm-hmm. brother for sure. Wow. You feel me? So, <clears throat> when you uh, I don't know if you I, do you even be watching Boss Talk One Hundred One like that? Because I had Mike Fresh on here too. And when in Waco, he been cutting his interview, been going in. Remember yeah, he said. Remember he said he watched, but he don't click like or comment oh, at all. Oh yeah, he goes. He goes to like. I said He's that. Ghost, yes, you did. I ain't watching. say that. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't say that. I don't know who said that. <laughs> but do you? I mean, when you look at just the whole music, the Dallas era, you got Big X to plug. You got yourself. You got a. You got a lot of different dudes, but it's certain ones that stand out. Like, uh, do you feel like the music is where? Where it needs to be, you know, or where it all or is there? A, where's the hit? Where's the big hit? Where's this hit? This uh, do you got it and you just want to share it with us? I feel, who me? Yeah, yeah. You talk, you asking like, do I got a big hit? Oh, that, yeah, I do. oh yeah, I got some shit. You know I, I got, I, I got a couple of hits. You feel me? I got a couple of hits. Yeah, I do want to share them with y'all, but you know, as far as in the the music in Dallas, like um. I think I don't think we need to in Dallas like we don't need no more big hits. You feel me? Oh, we need this one big hit. We don't had too many of them. You feel me? We just need to keep doing what we doing. Keep grinding. Keep dropping music. Keep dropping music. Keep dropping videos. Keep letting the outside people know who we is. You feel That's me? That's hard. Keep putting the outside people on what's going on in Texas, Dallas, Texas. You feel me? At Representing. That, you feel me? Because East Side got their own culture. Pleasant Grove, East Side, South Side, now Dallas, Oak Cliff. It, we all got our own culture. You feel what I'm saying? So when people come to the city and actually know what's going on on East, it's live. You feel what I'm saying? So all we gotta do is keep dropping. Keep That's dropping. Hard. Everybody from each side, if you got motion on your side, keep dropping. I'm That's all. I like I like that because you just said it's content. It's content over create mm-hmm. is what he's saying, really. And I know that. That means sure. if he keep creating content, it's going it's going it, something's going to hit. It's like fishing. If you keep fishing, you're going to catch some eventually anyway. And everybody's so taste is different. Working. Everybody's yeah, taste yeah. is different. When you keep dropping, you're going to cater to different category of people. This shit like the NBA now. Everybody want to go to the NBA. Everybody want to be a rapper. You feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of rappers. So you got a lot of music. You don't need no more one hits. You need a lot of music. You need people to keep dropping. So all of them niggas out of Dallas going hard right now. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to keep going. 
Yeah. Got to keep going. I, I agree with the fact sure. that if you keep planting seeds, at some point there will be a hell of a harvest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm sure. saying? Gotcha. So, <laughs> so um, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I, last time you was on here, uh, you had a song on that. You know which song I'm talking about, too. That everybody that was a somewhat controversial. Some people said that you was not paying homage to Mo three. Uh -huh. Some people said you was paying homage, or, or you wasn't being disrespectful. What was that song about, and why did you make it? Uh, uh, people got to understand this. I'm not paying homage. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, he did what he did. I respect that. That's cool. You feel what I'm saying? But I got to understand. We have history. Feel what I'm saying? Everybody want to know what happened. Oh, what's going on? Every time I go on an interview, it's, oh, what happened? What's this? Who's this? Oh, oh uh, you sound like him or he sound like you. You feel what I'm saying? So, but what I didn't understand is, damn, Mo3 can't tell a lie. Mo3 ain't never lied in his life. Oh, Mo3 just the truest motherfucker in the world. You feel what I'm saying? It's two sides to every story. It's his side and my side. So I'm not, I'm not credible enough to tell my side. He fucked up just like me. He told the truth just like me. We pretty much in the same motherfucking boat, but you're listening to him just because he up? That don't make sense. That didn't, that didn't get me. So that's why I made the song. That's why I said what I said. I wasn't paying homage to nobody. I wasn't on no oh, uh, oh shit. I wasn't dissing nobody. Don't take it like that. I'm speaking me's and me's a piece. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't respect me and respect my piece, okay, well, so it'll be. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm going to speak what's on my mind, what's on my heart. I'm going to get mine off. You feel what I'm saying? That's what that was about. How old you? when you first met him? How old y'all was young, right? Yeah, we were like 12, 13. Cause this videos saying? out there where y'all where you were young. I remember seeing you in a car rapping or something. Mm -hmm. You were young as hell. <laughs> a baby, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. And so people got on uh, with that being said right there, we young, we made mistakes. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not saying he bigger than me. I'm not saying I'm bigger than him. No, that's what that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we two young niggas who's doing music, who had a miscommunication, shit happened. You feel what I'm saying? You told your side in multiple songs. And that's what people don't understand. You spoke about me saying multiple songs. I never said nothing but one time when I was in a backseat rapper. One time. One time. From and I to all the rest of the, uh, everybody ain't your friend, all your pot. Everybody know who you was with on a day to day. Everybody know what's up with me and you. You feel me? So everybody know who you was talking about. I never said nothing. But when me just say something I'm wrong, yeah. that's not fair. That's not fair at all. So fuck that. I'm going to the booth and I'm gonna say what the fuck I gotta say. Fuck who don't like. Fuck who like. You, you feel me? That's where I was with that song. Yeah. You feel me? Straight yeah. up. So how did you feel like that project did for you? Like just just the the, the when you dropped it. All eyes on me was it's actually still going up and mm -hmm. it's crazy right now because I'm actually breaking through the level that I I wanted to break through so bad. You feel me? Like right now I ain't gonna lie, I was getting bored in Dallas because it's like shit. These niggas not hot. I didn't feel like no competition. I'm just being honest. You feel me? I don't care who get mad. I'm just being real. Like, it wasn't no competition to me. I was getting bored. But watching my numbers and watching what they was doing and watching, like, where it was coming from, like, I could see where my numbers is. That shit, I'm breaking through. You feel me? Where's your was, biggest numbers was, coming from? Um, like, what city? What was, state? It, uh, uh, South Carolina, North Carolina. You feel me? They fucking with me is up there. You feel me? Like, up north. Chicago and shit like that, my shit was in rotation, you feel me? Mm. And then we tapping in overseas. So I'm like, damn, how the fuck is this shit happening? You feel me? <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I'm thankful for it, you feel me? So it's like, shit, it's actually doing good. I'm finna drop again. I wanna keep it going. That's why yeah. the era that we're in right now, you can be anywhere in the world. You don't have to say, like, you feel like you're too big for Dallas. But then at the same time, because it's streaming, it's social media, you can be anywhere and touch the whole world. Yeah, and, and I probably said that wrong. I didn't, I didn't mean to say, like, I was too big for Dallas. Like, I don't mean, if I said that, I didn't mean, <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. I was just saying, like, I got bored. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, Far as in with the rappers, you feel what I'm saying? Like this person is, it's the same sound, it's the same shit over and over. You feel me? So I got bored, but when watching my streams and watching my music move, that that excited me. That's mm -hmm. what got me like, okay, babe, well fuck it. Dallas ain't my competition no more. America my competition, and that's how I'm coming forward. You feel me? From well, right now, that's dope. Do you when you when you look at you know all of these rappers? I have to ask you this <clears throat> that uh. Like, for instance, the takeoffs, the PNB rocks, all these different people that, you know, they, they, this, they, they keep coming to early demises, bro. Like, as a rapper, um, how does that, because you, you really not just, you know, 
you still got stipulations. You ain't sure. just running around here doing everything with everybody. And, nah. and you're a family man. Hell, sure. You, you see what I'm saying? Sure. What, how, do, how does this make you to where how you move, how you decide on how you going to move, you know? That's what I say, shit. If I go anywhere, can baby go? Before I go in this door, can baby go? If she can't go, I can't go. Feel what I'm saying? Yeah. If if my wife not comfortable, if my child not comfortable, I'm not comfortable. You got to think about it. I heard go. Uh, what what uh, uh, what's that? Uh, Tony Yayo say, uh, "I don't go nowhere where I got to take a gun." That's I'm being just, real. That's yeah, what he that's, said. That's just been. Why would I have? Why? Why would I go there? Y'all y'all told me, "Hey man, here go this lump sum of money to come out here to kick it with us, but bring your gun." That don't make sense. Mm-mm. You feel what I'm saying? I should be able to come out here, have fun, enjoy myself. Y'all enjoy y'all self. We have a great time. I go my way. Y'all go y'all way. We can talk about it forever. But now, instead of coming out here, damn, I done caught a free body. Or I done hurt somebody. I done got hurt over some BS, really. At the end of the day, that's what it all be. But things happen, can happen anytime, anywhere, because you've heard where at performances, a shootout happened. You on stage, you know, stuff happened. Or um, I've heard some entertainers say, if I had to perform at a club, first things you always ask, okay, is it a one way in, one way out? Is sure. there an exit? How right. many exits? Do right. you take those things in consideration whenever you, somebody's trying to book you? For sure. For sure. We Even when, before we go in, we send our people in, check it out, check everything out, get the back in. You know how that go. Mm-hmm. Come back in. It is the play. You, know, you got to because you, you coming down here with people that you love, that you really love. These are your close people. It's not just entourage. It's really the team. Right. So you got to make it back home with the team. You know, mm-hmm. how you going to tell their family, their kids, they love, you know, that they didn't make it back. Right. It's pretty much on you. You feel me? So you got to take all, take all safety precautions. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, I just wanted, I, I just, I just wanted to, you know, just put that out there because you, I know you see it. You can't not see it out here the way things are. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and, I, and like I said, you you definitely go hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, and and definitely, you know, it's gonna, you know, Kane killed Abel, bro. <laughs> that was his brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Jealousy. You see what I'm saying? So a nigga don't really have to do nothing. Am I right? Like that. For he sure. ain't got to do nothing. It just you can see you coming up. You gotta move like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and you I'm used doing. to it. You ain't. It ain't like you ain't uh, used to that. You know what I'm saying? As far yeah. as people seeing you and 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 so, okay, what are you gonna do? Who do you? Who would you? Who would you like to work with? I say that. Uh, uh, if you had your choice to work with anybody, uh, who would it be? Mm. Uh. Shit, pretty much want to work with me. Feel me? I got a, I got a lot of big shit going on right now. So whoever fucking with me, I want to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, that's pretty much where I'm at with the music right now. I got so, me personally. I got so much shit, so much, so many. I'm seeing everything. I only been home seven months. That's what I gotta understand. Like everything, pretty much new to me. So like, I got so much music in the inside. Like I ain't pretty much worried about nobody. Like. I'm just being honest. I'm not. I'm just being real. Yeah. Nah. You one of those one of those guys that went like I said. Uh, I, I expect big things. Being real. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm one of them guys. I'm real. I, I'm sitting over here. Expect. I expect big things. Oh, you it's on me? the way. It's on the way. Believe that. And, and and so when I look at you and and and, and your your time of being home and. Uh, what you you know you was in the halfway house I'm scaling it nigga I'm a fan there over here yeah. if you don't do it, I'm like oh that nigga tripping man where that nigga at nah, you know but at the end of the day I know it takes time for you to figure out kind of like what you doing with what you got cause it's a lot it definitely is and doing it independent is crazy even more harder but you know we got it I got a solid team my team is solid you feel me? I ain't got no no suckers, no snakes, no none of that. I'm good. You feel me? So we up for sure. Believe that. <laughs> for sure, we up. <laughs> I, I'm just, I, I, like I said, when I when I look around and I see different people, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, man, I, I like to see that boy on a, a track with maybe the Reds or, or, or the Reds hot. I, I like the Reds. Really like it's certain more. I got be- a song about the Reds that's hot right now. What's that song called, babe? What it is? What's the name of it? Is it something different? For real? Something different about the red. Something different. 
It's hold on. I'm finna look it up. <laughs> yeah, cause that, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Bro should have gave me the remix. He should have put me on that. I ain't gonna lie. He should have called me. Why you me. ain't called me? Yeah, he should have called me to put me on that. Why you ain't called me, man? Y'all don't want y'all don't want me to tap you in, man. Yeah, I'm here now, nigga. I make that phone call. Yeah, we, need, we need to holler <laughs> you know what at the red. Said? <laughs> hey, the red man, you need to real, you know, you need to holler at me. Man. I, <laughs> I, I like I said, I just know it's a lot of talent, man. So, so if <laughs> the red's hot, man. the red's go I've been fucking with the red. The red's got one of my favorite songs, though. It's called Hercules. That bitch hard. And you, sure. you basically just always like this music. Yeah, my partner Gutter put me on the red a long time ago, probably like six years ago. It's been hard ever since. I've been jamming the red. Who who else outside of yourself like like that in Dallas that that I'm sleeping on that that you say that's hard that maybe you know uh, give me give me because you see you hear yeah let dizzy yeah let dizzy the hardest right now yeah I put, I put whatever I put whatever on let dizzy let dizzy the hardest right now yeah. I see him on, uh, all you rappers all you yeah yeah, yeah and he ten yeah he I'm gonna just say that he ten let's talk official. about him he, he it, said he went viral the other day tell us about that what happened he went on Animal TV he did a little freestyle on Animal TV oh he was lit you oh it was hard him. too how did he feel when he got done like he he got this little thing after everything he always say. Big dog, that's his thing. You feel me? <laughs> man, this man, this tall, he think he a big dog for real. You feel me? This is the true dog. How I'm does that you. make you feel? Uh, it's 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 hot though. It's hot. It's it's really loud to see him. You know, inspired and really want to chase his dream. You feel me, Daddy? Before I left, him, you going to the studio? I was like, yeah. I wanna go. He can't go. He hung up on me. He mad right now. So you know, it's it's loud though. It's loud. He got a lot of work to do. He just gotta know that though. Is he, he writing? Tell him. Let's keep writing. Does he write his own songs? He need beats. That's what we looking for. Cause a you lot got of, Ziggy. A lot of yeah, Ziggy fill him up, but he be on some. I need some more beats. Ziggy make all my beats. <laughs> you know how kids. He is. wanna you know? work with other people. Yeah. So, but the that's beats his he right. Be, he said, been getting that ain't been hard. He he so he so blunt. He gon' mm. oh, it suck. That's trash. That's trash. Why I'm getting all these suck beats, Dad? Why you know what you should tell him? Start trying to make your own beats so that he can be multi, you know, um, versatile. Where he can also rap and make his own beats. Tell him yeah, to figure out hard. how to make his own beats. Since you know exactly in your head what you want, that's what he could be doing. Buy him the stuff at home and say here. I met you make your own studio. Shit, he coming to your house with that shit. I ain't even gonna be in my house right <laughs> now. You might come shit. home and the whole album be done. Hey, go to the studio with all that. You ain't gonna be up in here with all that. That's too much noise. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Oh, so when you get home you want peace and quiet. Uh, it still don't be that though. <laughs> it still don't be that. It's going down in my house. Yeah, I just don't know. As soon as we walk to the door, from the kids to the dog, it's it's lit. I'm telling. <laughs> all the way. What were you saying about um, Dizzy that money bag yo some? What, what were y'all saying? Uh, he trying, they trying to get him in the show on the tour, the hush tour, money bag yo. Are girl, you gonna baby. let him go? Everything. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He might. And you gonna go with him? That's the thing. I don't know how he gonna echo the album. You feel me? Because mama the manager, right? Yeah. So she got to go wherever he go. She, she going to have to go with him. I ain't, I might not be able to go. You feel me? So he going to have to deal with that. He going to have to, you know. She, I'm sure she hard on him just as how you would have been hard on him. So if she goes, like, you there anyway. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. But she a softball. She just look like that. She a, she be soft. I mean, she be hard for a good 10 seconds. As <laughs> soon as a lip poke out or a nose flare up, she back... <laughs> South, I don't understand that. Don't and you not? It. No, I'm hard, all the way hard. They know it. We ain't having that. The look on her face right now sound like it's the opposite way around. And that's only because sometimes they they know what to say at the right moment. <laughs> it's just not all the time. Oh, okay, I got it. They not gonna get their way all the time. But, you know, <laughs> sometimes they you know shit. Hey, this is how I be in the studio, too. Y'all oh, yeah. you know it. I just be switching shit like this till I even feel that bitch. Hey, let it go. Mm. It's been a long time coming, hit the block running. Nigga ain't give me nothing, nigga stop friendly. Everybody talking bad about me, give a fuck. 
I'm still pouring up, still rolling up. Tell him free my nigga Bryson to my nigga free. Tell him free my nigga yellow to my nigga free. R.I.P. to little Bobby, yeah, my nigga sleep. And when I catch that nigga that did it, he gon' R.I.P. It's been a long time coming now, I got some money. All these hundreds in my hand, they won't take it from me. Look how they bet they did me long time ago, man. Fresh out the chains, I got money now, it's over, man. Yes, so the cocaine to stand up, I know I got a door. All these labels calling my phone, I'm trying to get to it. To tell my people, tell my mama, I got a child now. I got a baby on the way, he got a smile now. Okay, my daddy dead, father, he still in the street. Shout out to Squeak, shout out to Dino, yeah, my nigga G. Shout out to Zeta, know I love you. This shit for real. And I ain't stopping till the city, I'm gonna get a meal. That's on the real, hold up. Man! That's what I'm talking about right there, baby. That was it. It's out the mind, this ain't no line. I start crying. I heard my baby heartbeat for the first time. And yeah, that shit today. This how I feel, no play. You play with me, get erased. I put that there on my plate. I put that there on this paper. Put that there on my mama. All these niggas but haters, but they ain't fuck up with gun. Hell, promise. Man. Give me one time, God, I promise I'm gonna do right. But right now I'm thugging. I mean, shit, right now I'm thugging. Tonight we hustling. My pop bubbling, I just dropped the 28. I'm trying to get 60, and I'm back home in the state. Oh, you don't know the feeling when police really behind you. You got that work. You got that. Uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I like that. Yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah, going yeah, in yeah, right yeah, there. That's yeah. it right there, man. I know the one, man. <laughs> you were gonna get one. I was in the studio right now. I ain't gonna lie. I was in the. You were gonna get so one. What are you, man? You, you get hey, one. hey, you. How long do you stay in that dig studio, man? Y'all be in there all night, nigga. I would. I'm glad I didn't pick to be a rapper, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I ain't going no studio with y'all niggas, man. I was in, I was in Cali, and they were like, "Man, you uh, you need to come over here to the, go to the studio, man. You can interview him over there." It was like probably like eight thirty. It was getting dark. Nine came. Nine, I was at Dame Dad's near the studio. I said, hell no, nah, I ain't going to that studio. I don't know who over there. Me and my wife were by ourselves, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm hey. not going to these studios with you young niggas, no, man. No, 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 no. <laughs> when you with me, it's a trust and believe. My studio session be dug down, quiet, nobody. Really? On, on like That's 100 hard. niggas in the boot. Nah, nah. Man, I told my wife, we not going to that studio. You know, because you just think studio, you know. Niggas be at the studio. That don't even sound right, nigga. Y'all mess the studio up. Like, yeah. nobody wants to go to Studio with y'all, no normal. People. I'm a normal nigga. I'm fun at the yo. I'm <laughs> laughing. I'm chilling. You feel me? I just like to have fun. Hear everybody vibes, ideas. I take everybody ideas. Put that shit on the wax. You feel me? Like different but, ears in the who, studio who is have always you been good. in the studio with, and you you heard them go hard and made you like I got to go in here and do this, man. That made you just had to come on with it. Do that's when you can tell. Nobody yet. I'm be honest, man. And I'm, I'm just gonna find you real. somebody, man. I'm just, I'm gonna go get the red. The red say he go in there and go dumb. Man, he gonna sing all night, up. nigga. See, tell, <laughs> tell the reds come out of me, man. Cause <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't found nobody in Dallas who just. It's a difference when you in the studio with me and we really putting this shit on. You know, you feel me? Like a lot of niggas can't stand in that water. A lot of niggas can't stand in that sprinter. I'm telling you, it's different. It's totally different. So have you been in there? Totally you and you and y'all ain't did nothing together yet, hey? Nah, not yet, not yet. Yeah, that might be the one right there. But bro, no, he I'm gonna sing all ass. night. Bro know I'm gonna chop his ass up though. <laughs> you know, bro know I, 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 I love bro to death. He know I'm gonna chop him up though. That's my nigga. I'm gonna chop him up though. <laughs> you think so, you gonna take him? You gonna take him now? I got to. That's you know. That's my dog. I, I love him to death. But hey, he gotta get it. I, just I show. It. I want you to make sure you give me just a snippet of it. Just, just, just let, get, let, let, let baby just, just record me a little bit. Boy, I'm gonna I'm say that nigga went and ate that nigga up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We going like what? Man, they didn't want this to get out, nigga. Yeah, you know, they, you know bro, ain't go, bitch. You better not put this shit out. Nah, like, that was that was like that. did to me. We had him over here talking one night, man. Like, he decided to put that out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nigga. We recorded. Yeah. So have you have you ever like you know about a three G slash shout out? Uh, that's my boy. Who are that? Three G slash. He be with he be with uh Low D's and them. That's who brought him over here the first time. Oh yeah. He from out of Paris, but he got sons with y'all and all of them. Oh, yeah, shout Trap out too. Three three G slash. Three G. Shout out. I, be, I really do. I be doing so much, <laughs> man. I got so much going on, man. Like I got deal. I'm, I'm 
Now, what, what can we guys say? I got six jobs. I Are you posting tired. like your IG and all that? Are you really serious about your YouTube? All that? Let's talk about it, man. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. that's the really like that's that's a that's a deal, right? That's a deal breaker right now with the way people moving, man. So like when it comes to your YouTube, your Instagram, your TikTok, yeah. I mean, are you really uh, are you laying it out for those uh, platforms as well? Because that's that's generated income. Yeah, uh, let's be real. I, I am now because at first when I first came home, I didn't know nothing about TikTok and yeah. shit like that. You feel me? But now you know everybody done lace me up, team lace me up on how you get revenue on social media platform now. So yeah. So you own it. I did all that. All that scrape. You trying to make sure time. now I got to stay on this to be consistent. Yeah, all this, all that see it. I'm on that. So then, um, do you really record behind the scenes and stuff for what you be doing? Because if you ain't, then. Like like the behind the scene of going to the studio to build up so people can be motivated by the time your project is coming out. I didn't do it on um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I was for to drop another mixtape uh, in a couple of days, but I didn't. I don't want to drop it no more. And it's only because uh, we was listening to the music today and we was like. Like that shit hard, you feel me? We don't want to give it to him, be just like all oh, Christmas and then it's over with. You feel what I'm saying? So the team was like, hey, fuck that. We just going to go ahead and get this bitch out and on a whole nother mixtape type shit. This shit too hard for just some Christmas shit. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah, I was going to give y'all a mixtape in like two, three days, though. Like a little uh, Christmas little play. I thought you were you not giving us that now? Nah, I ain't going to give us that. What the hell wrong with you, man? That's the whole interview. That's why we did this. I know, I understand what I came for. I mean, but that's shit. what that's what that's the whole thing of you being here. Yeah, you gonna just say now you ain't gonna put it out? Yeah, I ain't gonna put it out. What the hell is that? Cause, cause I mean, y'all gotta understand the music that I that I recorded. It's not, it's not for Christmas. You feel what I'm saying? Like this shit, this shit hard. You feel what I'm saying? This shit is not a Christmas. This shit ain't for no Christmas, nigga. This shit for, you feel me? So the team was like, when I played it for them and they was, they got the listening after we finished, they was like, nah, we ain't putting that out just for no Christmas. Hell nah, we we got to get out a name and put that out for real. So that's so what you we just ain't gonna, so you just ain't gonna give a nigga nothing in a couple of weeks. We thought we, that's what we were doing. We were getting ready for it. I think they gonna take uh I think it was like two songs that they just said that that wasn't you know that they wasn't fucking with I guess so mm -hmm. I guess these two songs they gonna put out for y'all I guess so excuse me these two songs I guess they gonna put out for y'all I guess I don't know but the rest of the ten songs y'all not gonna get not getting it. <laughs> damn boy you sure was wrong for that boy I sure was I I was heard, uh, I heard it was going down I was like man you know no nah, that's the call I got like yeah he got one he need to get him in there like right now cause it's coming out yeah that shit hard too I ain't even gonna lie to y'all like I'm not doing I'm not hurt for one of them ones like oh shit uh, I got cold feet nah that's not I'm ready them bitches hard like I'm ready but when they heard it they was like Nah, we can't do this just for no Christmas. This just ain't no Christmas shit. Hell nah. Like this this past Christmas. Hell nah. So Damn, that's that's wild, man, cause you really just really telling a nigga you ain't getting nothing. <laughs> I mean that, that, that's what you're doing. Nah, I'm gonna give y'all some. I'm gonna give y'all at least some. I'm gonna make sure they give y'all at least a couple songs. Something. Already, man. So how can people get a hold of you, Mizi, if they if, if, if they trying to, you know, link with you, get a feature or stuff like that. Don't call these clown ass niggas who hate on me. Don't do that. All these clown ass niggas who going on these platforms talking sour about a nigga. Don't holler at them or show that. Make sure you tap into the real. Tap in low D's or Kiki, you feel me? You know, get 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 the real. You feel me? Man. So, so, um, and, and you know. Uh, and for the record, um, the contract that I'm under, uh, this this the most money I ever got since I've been rapping. Just for the record, just to let the world. Oh, okay. Well, you just, oh you gonna just talk, throw that out there? I didn't ask you that. You just gonna I'm just gonna for the record. Nah, I just you know. You I've see, been, I and you do want to talk? Me, they blame I've been me. Hearing, I've been hearing talk a lot messy. of shit. Now nah, this is what nah, I'm talking nah, about. Actually, this is what I'm talking nah, hold on, you want to say how much that is? <laughs> let's, let's clear this up though, because I see a lot of people doing what Boss Talk doing. It started here first. You feel? You don't even know what I'm talking about. He went and reached his hand. All the hating shit started at Bob Talk first. Oh, that nigga, I'm sorry. Oh, that's so funny. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going down with me, man. He just said, I believe in the nigga. No, he just said, I knew you were going to do something like that. Nah, nah, on some real shit. This not for the camera or nothing. Since I've been home, Bob Talk was the first people that was positive. 
You feel what I'm saying? It wasn't a negative interview. After y'all, it was, uh, I don't mean a name drop, but y'all know me. So you feel me? I've been doing this shit since, you know what I'm saying? Since I started, I've been name dropping shit, so I don't give a fuck what a nigga talking about. When I first started, when I first came out, Boss Talk was not negative, it was very positive. Um, then I think I did Dallas, I want to say Dallas Global. Huh? No, it wasn't Dallas Global. Who who was, uh, what's the black one? BZ TV. BZ T, okay, yeah. Boss Talk was not negative, it was very positive. Then it was BZ TV, you know what I'm saying? Shout out BZ TV, I give him major respect, you feel what I'm saying? And there was a couple of more who 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 followed the, you know what I'm saying, non negativity, you feel what I'm saying? Right. And I appreciate that. But, you know, I've been seeing a lot of people who who taking it. That shit came from Boss Talk, I'm just keeping it real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Boss Talk set the trend on a, you know, Thank get you, a light and, you know, but, do what's right. But, but sure. it's out of respect for you, though. When, me, me, when, we, when we chopped it up, uh, you came on the show. It was some you. You got a talent, man. It can't be denied. And I just I didn't want to tarnish that. I ain't for to say I want that. I want to see what's gonna happen. I told you I, I'm a fan, sure. so I'm looking at it like, man, where if you where this nigga gonna take this? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> and I'm gonna watch it, and then I'm, I'm making phone calls to make sure that the nigga working. Hey. Is that nigga working? Uh, then I then and then I call Odiz. He said, "Man, best thing you do is call some lady. He, he probably somewhere around her." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Okay, then don't call that nigga. No, you don't call him. Call his old lady. She gon' she get that nigga for you." Because <laughs> yeah. I was right. Nah, for real. You know what he tell mm -hmm. me? But no, nah, we love you, bro, and we appreciate you for even coming and even rocking out with us, uh, wearing the Boss Talk logos and stuff. Oh you yeah, know, for sure. Putting it out there, fussing at us when we don't give it to him or get it to us. Yeah. Right. And I'm expecting whenever you wear it, we gonna get tagged and all that. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Man, okay. that. I might you go so on much. no jumper with a Boss Talk hoodie on. <laughs> Boom, yeah, nigga. I'm just so much. Yeah. That's what my boy did. You know, I told him off. Shout out to I told him off. He went on uh, Cam Capone with that Boss Talk on. Oh, man, one on one, baby. Mm -hmm. I got a Hear question. Melvin for him. Go ahead. I got a question. So a question is posed um, to me to ask you, and um, it says, "What do you think about um, gonna snitching <laughs> to get out of jail?" Uh, that was that. That's his. Do you enough. think he's snitching? That oh, I thought you were talking yeah. about me. I thought you were talking about me. No. Oh, I was gonna say uh, non factual. Uh, <laughs> Not you. My paperwork silent, but uh. I don't know that he snitched. And they say they say uh, Young Thug got more charges the same day the nigga got uh -huh. out. Oh yeah, this what I this what we did. Uh, I didn't was even reading know something that. earlier. But this y'all gotta understand about conspiracy. Like if we on conspiracy and one of us plead to the conspiracy, that mean all of us guilty. You feel what I'm saying? So if I plead out first, that mean no matter if y'all plead out yet or not, y'all automatically guilty because I already played out. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm basically saying, yeah, I'm guilty. So if I'm guilty and we on conspiracy, y'all guilty too because we conspired. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Now you got to work with them, though. Now you got to go and sign them papers. I just got out of the feds. I know how this shit go. You feel what I'm saying? So, hey. Because it says somebody recorded Gunna in the court while he was taking the plea deal. I mean, shit, with, with him taking a plea, basically. That's that's how the court set it up. You feel me? With you taking this plea, you're basically saying you did this. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay, yeah, you but did But if you're calling all the names of other people and involving other people in it. But, I mean, did he do that? He said their name? He out of fucking control if he did that. <laughs> hey, Gunner, if you did that, bro, you out of fucking control. Take my name off your name, bro. <laughs> straight up, bro. Just straight up and down. You feel me? Hey, Free Yet got it. That's my baby. I love him to death. You feel me? Free Slime. You feel me? If you did that, you out of fucking control. But, yeah, you know, shit. If they, if conspiracy, all it takes is for one. Uh, one person to bail up. Yeah, you, pl you plead to that shit. All the rest of them are gone. So when you went I in there, the did, you have, did you have a paperwork party? Did they check your paperwork? Yeah, and they check mine. They check other niggas. Yeah, you feel me? Is this like a real that? thing? Is they really out here checking paperwork? And I, I just no, had a guy, not out here. No, I'm in talking her, about in there. But and when when you think about it, I just had a guy on here. He said all of them was not. He said ninety percent. Uh, what he say? Snitches or something? Ninety percent. Ninety percent of people in there um, talking, telling, and ninety percent and ten percent. And ten percent wish they had told. Wish they had told. <laughs> nah, that's what he's saying. He no, did fifteen no. years. Didn't what, he did. what he probably meant to say is there's three type of niggas in prison. You feel me? It's three types of niggas and in prison. And that's in the feds. In the feds, it's three types of niggas. 
He got the ones that told, the ones that wish they would have told, and the ones that ain't got nothing to tell. Which one is you? you feel me? Damn. That's probably yeah, what it that's is. That's a hell of a code to live by, man. Shout out to the niggas in the free world who yeah, ain't shout to out. Go, who ain't did nothing wrong. Nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah, we going to church. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah T.D. Right. Jakes, goddamn. Uh, nah, uh, 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 what's the other one name? I bought. I bought, nigga. Yeah, we can buy the I bought. You got to say I bought. We can buy the miracle water over a damn. Yeah, all that. I'm not going down there with you, man. <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment, man. The boss talk one on one where the bosses talk. And we sure. Are.